Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip, where I'll show you how to create embossed or debossed logos on your 3D models within Keyshot 6. To create the embossed or debossed effect, start off with a white version of your logo on a transparent background saved as a PNG. I've applied a slight blur to soften the edges, as this will add a touch of realism to your rendering. In Keyshot, start by looking directly at the piece of geometry you want to place your logo on. Next, in the project panel, select the material tab, then the label sub tab. Click the plus sign to add the label. I'm going to choose the white logo I just showed you. Click on your geometry where you want the center of your logo to be placed. If your logo is too big, like mine is here, just use the scale slider until it fits the geometry. You can use the Shift X and Y sliders to fine tune the placement of your logo as well. You'll notice there's some clipping at the top and the bottom of my logo. This is because we are on normal projection mapping type and our geometry is slightly curved. To fix this, find the depth slider and increase the value until you don't see any more clipping. In Keyshot 6, you can add a label type to a label. The default is set to plastic. We want to change this to metal because this is a metal part. Now, since our color is white and the label type is metal, we get the appearance of a polished chrome finish. To turn this into a debossed or an embossed logo, I'll simply hold Alt and drag this color logo onto the bump. We are given a fairly aggressive bump. That's because the default value is 1. We're going to change the bump height to 0.2 and find that it looks a lot more realistic. Since I want a uh, debossed logo, I'll add a negative value. Now I don't exactly want this to look like Chrome, I just want a glossy version of this logo on this material. In order to do that, since this white color is what's making this look like Chrome, I will replace it with a black version of the logo I have. I'll simply double click here on the color and I'll choose the black version. And now we get the result we are after, a glossy debossed logo on a part that has a matte finish, all on the same piece of geometry, just using labels within Keyshot. For more helpful tips, subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash keyshot3d. Go to keyshot.com learning for more videos, tutorials, and quick tips.